Welcome back. Adam here again from support to do the advanced training. If you have not already watched or attended the basic training, including registering the camera and taking the 360 photos, please stop and do that first. For the rest of us, let's move on. We're going to today look at the advanced features for Ricoh 360 tours. We're going to look at the web application and take a close look at the AI features. So let's do that now. I'm going to share screen and we're going to look at the web app. All right, here is app.ricotours.com. All of my images have synced from the mobile to the cloud and here they are on my account. I log in to my account at app.ricotours.com just like I do on the mobile. I'm gonna go into this tour. Oops. All right, so here we can do everything that we were doing on the mobile. We can move the photos around by dragging and dropping. No problem. We can add more photos from the desktop right here. So if I have some SLR photos or maybe edited 360 photos, I can bring those in right here. We're going to start by diving into edit tour. So let's look at edit tour. Now this is going to be the tour path navigation. This allows the client to go from room to room. So let's start with the first photo. Now, when we want to add our tour path, all we're going to do is drag the next photo into location. So we're gonna go with front door. So from front yard, we're going to front door. We're gonna drag front door up into position. Line it up. When we do that, the system automatically provides the tag to go back to the front yard. We line that up nicely. And now we have both forward and backwards travel. We're going to go to the next photo, front door. You can see my other positions are already there, but we're going to add the tag for living room. Now, placement is completely up to you. Some people prefer on the floor. Some people prefer on the wall. For this one, I do think it looks best to go right here in the center of the floor. But that is completely up to you. And there's the tag to go back to the front door. All right, so now we have forward and backwards travel within these photos. And you're going to do that in every single photo to create the tour path. Let's now go to annotation. Now, annotation is a tagging system to call out anything of interest in the photo or about the property. I've seen people be very creative about this. So you can call out things like brands. And when I think of brands, I'm usually thinking of appliances or maybe furniture, anything that's going to be left behind in the property for the buyer. So here I'm going to think about these kitchen appliances, maybe the, the refrigerator or the microwave. We can tag the refrigerator. I'm just going to call it fridge. I'm going to give it a name and a URL. So I actually have a URL for the purchasing page for the Kenmore website. And I'm actually going to include the Kenmore logo as well. So you can include an image, a URL, some text information. I'll upload this. There it is. And now I have a logo, some text and a URL. I'll save that. And now my viewer has that tag there. And we'll look at that in just a moment. Starting view. Starting view is gonna change the starting position of the photo. So right now, this kitchen photo is looking out the kitchen window, looking at the kitchen sink, and we're gonna slightly adjust that. We're gonna change it to look towards the uh, family room and the exit here, and we'll hit save, and that will update this photo. Okay, so that will update the position of that thumbnail photo. All right, so we're going to hop out of this screen here, and now we're going to dive into the three dot menu. So here we have the three dot menu. All of our really cool features are here. Everything that uses the automation is going to be found right here. First up is going to be the floor plan generator. Now, this is very easy to use. All you're really doing is requesting the floor plan from us. So here you're going to request the floor plan from us. Here is a sample. This is what the floor plan is going to look like. 
It's a basic floor plan that you can then tie the rooms to to make it interactive. And the way we're gonna get that is we're gonna request that by clicking continue. The cost is $20 per floor. The two-story home is gonna be $40. The first one is gonna be free. We're gonna tell us the number of floors that we need and then any additional comments. And then finally confirm order. Now, once that is done, we're gonna get an email within 24 to 48 business hours. That email will contain the floor plan. You'll get three file types, the PDF, the JPEG and the PNG. And then you'll bring that floor plan in right here. We'll do add floor plan. Now, if you're using a third party floor plan service, that is fine. You can upload that as well right here. So whichever floor plan you're using, whatever you're using as a floor plan, you're gonna bring that in right here from the desktop. Once you do that, we're gonna click on that floor plan and use the three dot menu. And we're gonna use edit labels. So we're gonna just come in here and add a room label. And there we go. Now that is a clickable location on the floor plan for the viewer to jump to. Let's go back to the three dot menu. We're gonna look at the AI staging. Now, these are our three AI features. These are what are gonna separate the pricing. So uh, if you are on the pro plan versus the business plan, these three features are what is going to separate those two tiers. First is the staging. Here is one of my staged rooms. We have CGI furniture that we are able to add to an empty room. I have another one right here. So how are we able to do this? Very easily. We're gonna go into AI staging. We're gonna select the room that we want staged. We're gonna hit select. We're gonna tell the system what kind of room it is. And we're gonna hit execute. Now, in about 10 to 15 minutes, we're gonna get an email with several furniture options and placement options. All right. Here's the email, we'll click the link. And here are my options. So you can see I've got some positions I can choose from. Slightly different look. Now, once I click confirm, that is gonna be deducted from my monthly total. The pro plan has 20 staged images a month. The business plan has 100 staged images a month. Next, what we're gonna look at is the auto cropping. This is gonna be for the business plan users. The auto cropping works like this. Auto cropping is going to automatically generate 2D still images for you. So that you don't have to reshoot stills. We can generate them. We're gonna use the living room. We're gonna hit execute. Now, the photo is gonna to go to the server and the server is gonna send back eight stills. We're using automation to pinpoint the best views for the room. That's gonna take about 60 seconds and then that's gonna come back with those stills for me. Again, these are 2D images that I can use for social media, for MLS, whatever my marketing purposes are. And we'll have those in just a moment. There they are. And now I can take the viewpoints that I like. So I'll probably take that one and probably that one and maybe even that one. And then I'll hit export and I'll download those directly to my computer. Now for the pro plan, we're gonna open the photo. We're gonna use the three dot menu and we're gonna do export 2D. So this is a manual 2D crop. So we're gonna line the photo up I'm going to change the aspect ratio and I'm going to hit export. I get that one 2D photo right away. That'll be downloaded right to my computer. Again, I can use that for my social media, my MLS or my other marketing needs. Then I have the video maker. Now this is a really cool feature because we're creating additional media for you automatically. This is going to be perfect for uploading online to say YouTube or maybe social media. So I'm gonna go ahead and select some photos. These are my 360 photos. I'm going to send them to the server. 
and the server's going to generate an MP4 video out of these 360 photos. All right. So for the business plan, I have 1080p. For the pro plan, I am stuck at 720. I'm going to go ahead and use the 1080p, send that to the server. And the server is going to take about 10 to 15 minutes and generate that video for me. And I'll get that back in the email. When I get the video back, it's going to look something like this. So here's my video for this property. So you can see it's going to pan around the photo and then transition to the next room. And again, this is great for social media. If you're going to use it for social media, my recommendation is keep it around one minute or less. That's going to be six or seven photos. You're going to want to pick your six or seven best photos or favorite photos and include those in the tour. All right. So that is the AI video maker, a really handy thing to have. I definitely recommend using that. So let's look at the copy link. All right, so we have our full tour. That's our fully branded tour. That is going to be with all of our branding, all the bells and whistles. Let's take a quick look at that one. All right, so here we have the fully branded tour. You can see we have the brand banner. Takes us to the URL of choice. We have, let's go into the kitchen. We'll see that annotation. There's that annotation. There's my tripod logo. There is the business card, my Google map, my property details. This is the full tour. So this is the completed tour. We'll look at the unbranded tour. All right, so here's the unbranded tour, no brand banner. No tripod logo and no business card, no Google map. and then the compact tour. And this has no address information. So here you just have the photos, just the top half of the tour, nothing below. So those are the three versions of the tour and you can use copy link to share those out. Again, unbranded is specific for your MLS. Next is your embed code. This is for your website. So your corporate site, your marketing site, whatever site you're using, you own, you have access to the HTML. If I was a realtor, I would have a website called adamsellshomes.com. And on that website would be a breakout page for every listing. And on those would be the property tour. So you can use the embedded code to keep the tour front facing on your website. The clients are going to interact with the tour on your website and not be redirected to us. We have three sizes. And that is just cut and paste. So that is your embed tour. All right. So moving on, we have share to Facebook. Like most other apps, you can share directly out to Facebook. We can duplicate a tour. If you want to create a copy of a tour, you can do so. Move tour. If you want to move a tour from one team to another, you can do that as well. And then finally, delete tour is a permanent delete. So be careful. Don't delete the tour until the property sells. All right. Up top is your tour active off and on. This is for your rentals, your seasonals, your starter homes, anything that is going to go off of the market for a period of time, but inevitably come back to the market. You can turn the tour off while the property is in use. No one will have access to that tour except for you. And then when the property is available again, you can turn it back on. Image enhancement. Now, this is going to basically make the photos look a little bit better automatically. So we can turn it off to see what my photos look like naturally. They're pretty dark. The in, Most of the interior was shot with natural lighting, as you can see. So uh, the interior photos do tend to look a little bit dark. I could take the time to brighten each one of these up, but I want to save some time. So I'm just going to turn on image enhancement. 
and you can see the photos all get brighter. They're gonna sync with the server and get auto-corrected by our API. All right, so now I wanna dive into something that I consider to be uh, advanced. It might not be a super flashy feature, but you're definitely gonna to wanna to know about it. I'm gonna come out to another tour where I have uh, some items I can delete. All right, let's go into this tour. All right, so what we're gonna look at is called Blur. Now this is going to be to protect the privacy of your client. So whether you have family photos or license plates or diplomas, anything that's personally identifiable to the homeowner, you might want to blur or obscure that out. And we're gonna do that right now. We're just gonna use this little piece of art. We're gonna go to the three dot menu in the upper right. We're gonna go to blur. Now, I'm just gonna blur this photo out. We're gonna pretend that that's a family photo and now you can no longer see it. So you wanna be aware of this feature so that if you do have things in the home like family photos, like diplomas, like license plates or addresses that shouldn't be there, uh, we can obscure that information. All right, one last thing I wanna show you is going to be the lead generation. So we're gonna go back to the edit tour. I told you we were gonna come back to this. So we're gonna go to lead generator. All right, so lead generator, we're gonna lock some photos. So we're gonna go to photos, we're gonna click change. We don't have any hidden photos right now. We're gonna lock the kitchen. There's only four photos for this tour. We're gonna lock one of the most important ones, which is gonna be the kitchen. We're gonna hit save. Now, what this does, it locks the photo. Why are we gonna do that? Let's take a look. All right, so when we go to kitchen, we are presented with this contact form. This is for lead generation purposes. I locked the photo so that the viewer has to give me their name and their email. Once they provide this information, they will be able to see all of the photos in the tour. The reason I wanna collect this information is for marketing purposes. I wanna build an email list for my marketing and to do that, I have to collect name and email to get started. So here is my lead generation. This is just a feature that is available. You don't have to use this, uh, but it will allow you to collect that information. All right. All right, so we're gonna finish up with the teams and members. So we have the teams here. If you are going to create tours for people outside of your business, outside of your organization, and they require their own branding, you can create them a team. Each team you create has its own set of branding tools. That's the tripod, brand banner, and business card. And each team you create has its own separate view of tours. Each team you create is also a full price membership. So if you do that, you have to be aware of that. You're going to charge that client up front for that membership and then a premium per, per tour to generate income from the client. Alternatively, we have members. Now, members are people that want to join your team. So if you want to allow a person to have their own branding for their own team, they can do that. So they would share the business logos. That's the brand banner and the tripod, but the member gets their own business card. So this is going to be, so maybe uh, your you know, star performer, your uh, rising performer, whatever that is, uh, that person can have their own membership card, their own, uh, their own business card at half price. That is going to be half of the price that you signed up for. Under the settings gear, you can update your team branding. So that's gonna be your tripod and your brand banner with URL of choice. And then finally, the business card. This is gonna be the final point of branding. You can add all of your, your information in here and that will appear in the body of the tour. This has been the advanced feature training if you have any other questions, please feel free to come into chat, which is available Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Pacific, found at rico360.com forward slash tours. Again, my name is Adam from Support. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you and have a great day.